is crawling with all kinds of small insects and insect larvae that are feeding off of it. This is, oh, <laughs> with the mask, it's really bad. It's one of the worst things I've had to film. <laughs> So sometimes you can find really cool organisms living in not so palatable places. So this is my COVID mask here, but it also doubles as a good stinky carcass mask because I just found this dead goose over here. Come over here and I'll show you. And uh, yeah, it's got a bit of a stink to it. I'm gonna try to put up with the stink here for just a minute <laughs> for this part. But uh, right down here, there you go. You can see it's a big dead goose. And that goose is crawling with all kinds of small insects and insect larvae that are feeding off of it. And the one I want to show you today is a type of carrion beetle, a type of beetle that specializes on feeding off of dead things. And this beetle also eats the other things that are feeding off of the carcass. So it's not only eating the carcass itself, it's not only eating the dead goose, but it's also eating the tiny maggots that are crawling all over it. And as I said at the very beginning of this video, this video is not for the faint of heart. It's going to be kind of gross and it's gonna be kind of stinky, at least for me. Um, but it's, uh, it's pretty cool if you can stomach it. These squirming fly larvae tend to really gross people out, but the role they play in the ecosystem as decomposers helping to break down dead and decaying material can't be overstated. It's critical that these decomposers exist in the ecosystem and they form a really interesting link in an ephemeral or temporary food chain on these carcasses. Small fleet-footed beetles dart in and out of the feathers of the carcass. But these hairy rove beetles aren't just here to feed on the carcass itself, they're also predatory. These beetles are actually feeding off of the fly larva. There are successional stages of decomposition that an organism goes through when in nature. And the insect species visiting or living off of a corpse may give an indication of the time since death because of this. In fact, there's an entire field of study centered around this idea called forensic entomology, and it can be used to help solve crimes. Nope. All right, I'm done. <laughs> that, uh, that was hopefully the smelliest video I do, at least the smelliest one I do for a while. But we have to appreciate these scavengers, because if it weren't for the things helping to break down all the dead organisms, we'd uh, we'd be surrounded by them. So it's the decomposers of the world that really help us to not have to deal with the, the nastiness of dead and dying organic things. Um, so I appreciate their role in the environment, even if I maybe don't wanna be around them and what they do all that often.